This is the January 2022 CSEC Information Technology Paper 2. It's supposed to take us two hours. I, I am fully confident that I might be able to get this done in an hour of it, right? I haven't watched this paper before in any great detail because I didn't have time. I, I kind of perused it and I was like, oh, well, this is easy. Okay, cool. Let's go. Define each of the following terms as it relates to data. Verification. Verification is um, the process of ensuring the data collected is an exact match of the data that was intended to be input. All right, anything along those lines of, well, it's exactly what I wanted to put into the system, you're good there, no problem. Validation is the process um, ensuring the data meets specific specific requirements before um, accepting it. All right, you can throw another example for good measure. Example range checks. All right, so range. Yeah, range checks, all right? So you'll probably want to give our example here and there. You can buy example for this as example double entry. Okay, all right, so you can do that. Outline the function of each of the following validation methods. Oh, look, they gave it to us. Okay. Yeah, I'll get one example of each. Range check would be checks a uh, number um, to ensure it falls within a specified range. Example, age for a teenager should be 13 to 19. All right, so that's a easy, um, that's an easy range check there. You're checking to see between if the number is between a particular range. And if you're looking for the age of a teenager, you want to check between 13 and 19. Inconsistency check would be, um, checks two pieces of data to um, make sure they match up. Example, date of birth and age should Coincide. That's how you spell coincide. I'm not too sure. Coincide, coincide. Um, I want to make. I want like not not shame myself. They should be consistent mathematically. Yeah, that sounds nice. That sounds nice, right? All right, so that's two inconsistency check. Do we have a next one? Nope. Well, look at that. Easy marks there. Verification and validation tend to give people trouble, but of course, if you download the app and you look for, and you watch the um, bootcamp videos at the bottom, all you have to do is click select playlist, and then when you click select playlist, you'll see theory bootcamp at the bottom, and it has literally all the theory there for you, like fully laid out with diagrams and all that stuff. All right, part C, the spreadsheet below shows the run scored balls face and the strike rate of each player who contributed to the total score of 199 runs for the Warriors cricket team in a T20 game. The strike rate of each player is calculated as runs scored. All right, let me, there's some maths here. Runs scored divided by balls face multiplied by 100. Okay, cool. Runs scored divided by balls face multiplied by 100. 
The percentage of total runs scored for each player is calculated as the run scored by that player divided by the total run scored. Run scored divided by total run scored. Okay, cool. A formula was inserted into cell D3. Where is D3? D3 is here. We're looking at D3. This is this. Okay. To calculate the strike rate of the player, Alfonso, who scored 18 runs and faced 28 balls. His formula is also copied to the range of cell D1. Write the formula which was inserted into D3. Okay, so we're calculating strike rates. Strike rate is calculated. Right, run scored. Run scored in here is B3. B3. Divided by number of balls faced, which will be C3. Multiplied by 100. So that's how the slap out equal sign in front of that. Boom. That's the that's the calculation there. B3 divided by C3 multiplied by 100 because that is spread cheating, right? Why to give it two marks for this? More than likely they'll give it two marks because you gotta get the division part and the multiplication part, I guess. I hope so. Yeah, that'd be logical. Alright, outline what accounted for the result displayed in cell D9 after copying the formula from D3 to the range of cells D4 to D10. Alright, so what they're asking here is they want you to, to show, okay, how did this happen? But they want you to explain why you have DIV0. So they wanted to explain why this error happened. So usually when you do a fill handle, it would fill handle and it would take the same formula B3 divided by C3 multiplied by 100. Hey, hey, hey! I'm there. Right here. And it will, it will work its way down just like that. However, when it reaches here, there is a problem because there is literally nothing inside this space here. So our issue is that there is nothing inside cell d c9 so therefore there will be an error because the division can't take place so we want to say the problem with cell c um d9 is there is no value in c9 to be divided so d9 d9 will show an error nice so that is all there so we're trying to explain why we got this but you have to understand that this here is the reason because we don't have anything to to store it in all right moving on now state how each of the following types of data is displayed within a cell in an electronic spreadsheet numeric data how how all right numeric data is always aligned to the right state how it is displayed how is the Ministry of Education in Trinidad, in Guyana, in Jamaica, in Barbados allowing CX to do this to us? Still. I don't know what they mean by the word how, eh? I just learned all you know. I don't know what they mean by the word how. But I would guess it would be aligned to the right if it's a number. And alphanumeric data is aligned to the left. I mean, I don't know, like, like anybody does proofread this thing, but like, like they proofread it and be like, <laughs> they come here, did you proofread this? Yes, sir, we did. Impossible. So, all right, there you go again. Write the formula ins inserted in cell E3 before it was copied to cell E4 to E10. No, E3. E3, E4 to E10. E3. Let me see what's going on in E3. 
Okay, so E3 is here. Alright, so we want to figure out what it did. Okay, so this is run scored by that player. Run scored by that player, which will be B3. Divided by the total run scored. Total run scored is 199. That is in B10. Right. But because we have to do because you have to pull this down, because you have to do absolute cell reference, and from here to here, you want to get the, the number that they have here, but you always want to make sure that the 199 is locked in place. So in order for the 199 to be locked in place, you have to use the dollar signs to do absolute cell referencing. If you don't know what absolute cell referencing is, go on um go on check my um check my spreadsheet videos on the app or on YouTube. I explain absolute cell referencing in extremely great detail. So be a stranger all right so that's up in there we'll slap our equal sign in front of it right so the b3 will be um replicated when you fill handle it going down and then the dollar sign b dollar sign 10 will ensure that the, the location 10 doesn't change because you're dividing their score by the total score right total run score let me just double check all right so run scored by that player divided by the total run score and the total run score is clearly here all right great um, steady type of cell referencing using the formula in each of the following cells. Cell D3. The cell referencing in D3. Let's see what's going on here. D3 is this. And then E3 is that. So in D3, the cell referencing is relative. And in E3, cell referencing is absolute. Alright, so relative cell referencing. Um, it would be like that. Um, ow. Oh. Right. So, E T divided by. Um, the run score is our percentage, percentage of the total. So we had to multiply by 100. All right, so for this one here, you had to multiply this by 100 to get it to the decimal that they want. So there, you realize they have a decimal here, 9.05. So when you divide 18 by 199, you'll get 0 0.095. So you have to multiply that by 100 to get it to 9.05. And that should that should fix the formula there. Yeah, that would be the only thing that I missed. Yeah, same thing for the strike rate. Yeah, the strike rate is multiplied by 100. Okay, cool. All right, so that'll be the percentage value there. Um. Okay, let's see what else. Explain why the type of cell reference and using F part 2 is using cell E3. Wow, the real going hard is absolute cell reference in question, but they use, they, they did this, like part E talk about it, part F talking about it, and F part 3 is talking about it. So if you don't know absolute cell reference in, you're gonna get screwed for this paper. Like, you're gonna lose two, three, four marks, five marks in this 20 mark question. Yeah, that would be tough. Alright, so to explain it says it is used because the value for total runs needs to be in each formula. Um the fill handle would have changed it change it if absolute wasn't done all right 
as normally as normally real laugh at my students when they do this when they write below the line but i write in kind of big so that y'all could see all right so that was question one all right it's that time of the year again where it's time for crash courses because you spent your whole year fighting up with school not being able to go to school when you want to always worrying about covid all kind of issues so i have all the csec it cape it and cape computer science crash courses that you need i'll be able to give you the whole syllabus in one quick dose to be able to get you over the hump so here's how the crash courses will be going this year so for all the crash courses we have three different levels that you can choose from this year level one is video only that's just a video that'll be about six to eight hours long that covers the entire syllabus going through and i kind of like a speed run explaining every single thing but not explaining every single thing if you understand what i mean level two is a video and a class in april where you get to ask me anything about the syllabus so you'll get the video in advance you could watch it about two to three days before and then you come to that class and then you ask whatever question you need to ask and the third one is you get the video you get that class and you get access to our whatsapp group directly to be able to ask me questions at any point in time whenever you're doing any past paper whenever you're studying any work and that's how the crash course is going to run this year so the crash courses will be csec it cape it unit one cape it unit two cape computer science unit one and cape computer science unit two those are the days each one runs from nine to twelve that's if you take the class option you will be able to come into that class and ask any question about the syllabus and of course you will get the video a few days in advance where you can watch through the whole thing so what are the course well for all crash courses csec and cape basic which is the video alone will be 150 200 will be for the standard and the pro will be 250 which is the video the class and the whatsapp group to ask questions at any point in time so how do you register you have to make it simple tt.com forward slash crash course and you will be able to see all the courses that are available you choose the one you want you register go through the payment and then you will be given the video once you're given the video you will be able to watch it at any point in time of course if you register for the other ones you'll be given the video and you'll be given the timetable of when your class is going to be you'll be added to a google classroom and if it's a pro you'll be given the video you'll be given the class and you want your phone number will be added to our whatsapp group so that's make it simple tt crash courses so i look forward to seeing you all april everything is going to be launched so you can register from now which is from march for them and you might just get the video before the end of march and just in case you're wondering these crash courses cover the new syllabuses so the new syllabus for it csec that launched a few years ago the new syllabus for cape it and the new syllabus for comsci all the new stuff all the things that they put into the syllabus that may not be always clearly explained or the current textbooks don't have it these crash courses have it make it simple tt.com forward slash crash course so i'll see you all there